Hi everybody, uh, this is Judy again uh, in my studio. I'm going to work on a little fun project. It's called Making Art with Found Objects. And this particular thing is one of these scrub things. I get these as gifts all the time. And I've got them in a big basket and have never known what to do with them. I finally found a use for this black one. Then I have bulk ribbon in my studio, and I took this little polka dot pattern, and then I mixed it up with that little polka dot pattern, and then this little piece of a mixture of both. What am I going to do with this? Also, the string that was on this spongy stuff, I cut it off and saved it as well. So, what am I going to do with this? Well, to start with, I wouldn't have had the idea if I hadn't found this Barbie in my yard. Now, the fascinating part of this is I'm not a doll collector, but this was filthy dirty, the hair was all askew, everything, I washed it up, and it has a broken leg, and I fixed that, and so on and so forth, and washed her hair, and she's pretty, her face is pretty. I thought, well, what can I do? I'm not going to have her sit in my studio and not have some clothing on. And I hope nobody gets offended by naked Barbies, but I'm using this as a prop to make my point. So this is a found object. She was leaning up against a tree, and then I had all these other things in my house, and I said, how can I decorate her? So we'll start with the ribbon and um, I'll put these to the side here I think this is how this went and I gotta cover up her breasts with the ribbon so I put a little bit of double stick tape here and I was trying this out to see how it works so I'm only using double stick tape and I stuck this ribbon on and there is her modesty bodice for her dress okay she already looks a little happy she's surrendering to this new transformation then I have this piece is a little different than that and I decided to go in and put that on her waist. Now you have to understand that I don't sew. Um, I think the things that people do sewing are just awesome. So I think it's a little short for a skirt so I decided to add a skirt and I went up here, give her a little mini skirt, and I double stick taped that. So the only reason I'm double sticking everything is I want to see if this is even going to look good. So here we are. That's not too bad. Looks pretty cute. She looks happy. And I'll go back in and glue this, of course. But adding on, I put a ribbon around her waist. Um, I, I probably don't need this ribbon, but um, I thought I would um, put it around her waist. I'm going to flip her over. You know, they're noted for their very skinny waist, so ribbon helps facilitate that for me. So I'm putting this on. I'll tighten a bow for now because everything here is temporary. Her broken leg I fixed with a regular band-aid but when I get done that's not even going to show. So here's her basic outfit and um, I can glue all this down and she has a basic outfit. Really cute. Now if I add the, this is the fun part, this covers up a lot of errors, 
just take and rest her head in the middle of this. Okay, bring it up a little bit. And I'm going to bring an arm down because I want this to go under her arm. Under her arm. Here she's waving. She's a celebrity already. But we can do that. And you can see that that's a piece of art right there. There's a lot going on in that picture. It's just darling. And when you look down below, it's just covering up all the mistakes of her legs. And this could be a flying polka dotted angel. See? It's a lot of fun. You can take all kinds of pictures of that, get her hand in there. Ooh, pretty. So you go through all these angles and you go, which one do I like the best? There you go. That is really pretty. So she went from a beat up doll to a very, very happy Barbie. That's the extent of my video. Talk to you later. Have a great day.